Now watch what happens when you pull it down. Look how it flops around. Please, no comments, no jokes. This is a family show. Welcome back to the garage, this is Jack, and today we're gonna to do another how-to, and this time on my car. It's gonna be something a little simpler. It's gonna be on the uh, driver's side sun visor right up here. Now, uh, how Honda managed to make a, a mockery of sun visors is beyond me. One of the simplest things ever. And yeah, they screwed up. Now watch what happens when you pull it down. Look how it flops around. Please, no comments, no jokes. This is a family show. But well, look at this, and then you, ah, Try to put it up here, try to put it back. Oh my gosh. See what's going on right here is this point right here. There's a seam that runs across and it's broken. And again, not sure how they managed to make something that like this, which is really simple. Yes, it does have a mirror with a light. Uh, you got your powder mirrors there, but how you screw this up uh, is beyond me. So what we're going to be doing, yeesh, what we're going to be doing today is going to be replacing that thing and uh, with a brand new one. And hopefully it won't do that anymore. And I'll show you how to do it. But first, we got to get the, well, the car and the motorcycle shuffled around so I can get the lighting a little bit better. So let's, uh, let's get that done and we'll take it from there. All right, now we got the vehicles shuffled around. Time to get started on this bad boy. Now what I have is a brand new from Honda sun visor right here. As you can see, it is in the correct color. There are two options. There's a cashmere ivory and some weird gray color, which this is, I believe the cashmere is for the EX models. Uh, so what we got, so what we're going to be doing is inside, right up here, how this thing is actually sitting inside the, uh, the car, there's a little button right here. And what we're going to do is see, it is actually a lock mechanism right here. And we're going to have to push that out inside the car to be able to pull this thing out. Go get started on that. All right, this is the best angle we're gonna get in here. You're gonna see my head bobbing around. You're gonna see my hands. So anyway, up here, right there where my finger is, like on the new unit, I said there's a little, a, like a, uh, a little, it's not a button, but it's a notch. And you want to rotate that notch this way. So we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and get this stupid, thing out of the way here as much as we can. We're going to get this right up here. And there is a, a little button here. Now the trick is rotating the base. There we go, see? So, you just gotta rotate that out while pulling that. Now you gotta fish out the connector. All right, so we have this connector right here, which is quite obviously the power connector for your powder mirrors. And all we need to do, push this down, disconnect it, discard this one, because it's a broken piece of crap. We're going to take our new and improved, uh, well, actually new, not so much improved. It'll probably break again. So take this guy 
and plug it back in there just like that fish this back up into the roof like so now you're going to very carefully work because it has this slot right here the old slot that had that on the other like the old one so you're gonna push that forward boom and just like that you have a new working working sun visor so you'll see okay so now we got we got our lights back and it was crazy is look how nice and easy this thing this is it's incredible this is absolutely incredible it actually works i mean so yeah so we have it and there we have it very simple task as i said it was going to be and uh if anyone found this helpful by all means like subscribe all that nonsense and i'll provide the part number to should fit any 2013 to 2017 but i'll provide the part number for this particular sun visor for this color code interior for the driver's side in the description below and that's all i have for you and have a great day